Hi everyone and welcome back to the Dory Woodman YouTube channel. This time we've got a slightly different flavour. We are looking at solar PV installations. Now this is a PV installation that Dory Woodman have um, supplied and installed. So as well as our renewable heating technology using air source, ground source heat pumps, looking at smart hot water cylinder options, solar PV diverters, it was time to go into and expand our uh, branches into the solar PV installations. Surprising how many inquiries we get based on our renewable technology um, that we're, we're already installing as to can we provide solar. Everything's going to electrification, energy prices have gone through the roof. So it's really looking about being more sustainable and finding a way in which if you've got the investment to be able to invest some money into being more sustainable, greener and also more self-sufficient, really important. So looking at this system, what have we done here? Well, we're in a three bedroom house. They've got an annual usage of electricity of about 3,300 kilowatt hours per year. Um, quite a moderate use. You know, they're very uh, sensible about what they're using internally. Um, retired people living at, and, you know, doing some part-time work from home. Um, but, you know, from the amount of energy that they're using shows that they're not just wasting energy as and when. So what they really wanted to do is utilize a way in which they can generate their own electricity. So we looked at this property, took some uh, internal measurements, external measurements to see what we could provide for this family. On this particular install, we've done Canadian solar, we've installed Canadian solar 400 watt all black solar PV panels. We've got eight panels, so it's amounts to about 3.2 kilowatt peak. Um, we're on a concrete tile, which is, is actually, for, for installation purposes, is one of the more straightforward installs for a mounting on the roof. Um, it's far easier to kind of work around these kinds of tiles when it comes to putting roof hooks on, putting the mounting rail system on, getting our spacings correct, etc. cetera. Um, so we've got all of that in place. Behind one of the panels, we've also put a deck tight um, wiring uh, flash in. So basically we can get our DC cables into the loft space where we've got the inverter and a battery storage system and we've managed to do that without causing any problems with um, the integrity of, of weatherproofing for the roof but also protecting the cables as they're entering the building. We've seen many occasions where people just lifted the tile and put the wire straight in under through the tile. Well, obviously with changing temperatures and movement of, of the roof and everything else that can really cause a massive problem a bit later on you know it's a DC current that never stops it's a direct current it's not RCD protected as a as a current from from the so or, or earthed from the solar PV system down to the diverter so you know you can cause things like fires and, and all sorts so you've got to make sure that you are you know spot on with your cable entry into the building We've got weather, uh, we've got bird proof protection as well around the solar panels, which, you know, is a must. You know, you don't want to, you start getting pigeons and all sorts of birds trying to, you know, sit, sit in under there, under shelter, in the warm, in the dry. Um, so you've got to try and protect that, otherwise you get nuisance from, from birds. They could end up, you know, making damage to the backs of the panels, going through cables and all sorts. Um, so we've put this system in, like I say, in the loft area, we've got a Fox inverter, three kilowatt inverter. Um, it's all up to date with um, app, uh, you know, so you can get access to the system via an app with a Wi-Fi dongle. We've also implemented a battery storage, which again is from the same manufacturer, so it all incorporates itself um, and, and you can do a lot of monitoring as well via the app. So we can see how much reduction has been used during the day, how much is being bought in from the grid, you know, how much the battery is charging up, how, how, how well the battery is discharging at certain points of the day if required. Um, and just generally looking at your kind of overall um, concept of how this array is working. 
The other benefits of that as well is that with monitoring and looking at how everyone lives a different, in different ways at home. So it's really about how we can make sure that the energy that we do produce is being used at the right moments. So yeah, we can advise the homeowner, or the homeowner's you know, very intelligent and, 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 and can kind of work out for themselves actually. If we're producing this much energy during the day for this kind of sunlight that we're producing at the moment, you know, what are the options, you know, can I, when should I use my washing machine, my dishwasher, um, other components in the house that they might want to use during the day and actually utilising the energy as best that they can for those moments. Um, and it's all about, it's all a bit of a learning curve, but when you've got a lot of live data and stuff that you can kind of look at and, and physically you can see what, you know, how well things are producing or how much energy is being produced, you know, you can really start to put your own, put your own mark on it and utilise it you know, to suit your needs essentially. So let's go and have a look at the inverter and the battery storage system. Okay, so here we are in the loft area where we've got the inverter and the battery storage system, both of which are made from Fox. Um, the inverter is a hybrid inverter. We've got five kilowatt hours of um, battery storage which is on a stack. Now you'll see that there's three um, items on this stack. You've got two batteries at two and a half kilowatt hours and then you've got a BMS, um, which is basically the battery module system which interlinks with the inverter itself. Now, you can stack up to seven batteries on this. Um, as a minimum, you, for this particular setup, you have to have two batteries at two and a half each. So you've got five kilowatt hours of battery storage. It's just DC coupled into this um, inverter so there's no island mode so it doesn't mean that if you get a power cut that you can start using the battery to you know obviously deal with the day-to-day -day stuff like lights or a TV or something like that you have to have special arrangements with that for earthing purposes and also you know you have to make sure that you've got the correct backup system in order and in place that's safe and, and, and able to use but for this instance really wasn't the case that we needed to do that um, and not particularly what the customer really wanted to, to invest in at this moment in time. Um, so we've got our AC and DC cable in, um, isolators for safe isolation between the PV system coming into the inverter and also from the main board so you know if for instance, someone's working on the consumer unit downstairs. We've got an AC point here and downstairs, which means you can isolate that off so that there's no other currents coming in because you know all the time the sun's out, you're always gonna get some uh, voltage coming through from the PV panel itself. Um, so obviously to safeguard everyone in that respect. We've also got a smoke alarm in the loft. Uh, reason being is that you know you've got equipments and items up here electrical items um, and if there was ever a situation or a problem that needed to alert the home you know being up in the loft could be problematic and um, you know with it being interlinked with say a first floor and a ground floor smoke alarm system um, you know that something might be a situation that you need to attend to or at least call the fire brigade for but you know not to say that anything's going to happen just your extra precautionary measures in which you need to make sure you uh, think about. Um, also on a fireboard, again, just for that kind of extra um, extra protection against any situations that may or may not arise. And like I say, we wouldn't expect anything to happen. Um, set up on these uh, Fox inverters. Well, I'd say from an installer point of view, navigating a commissioning process for this isn't easy um you know there's very limited information and not very much to go on i think there's a couple of chinese videos and if you f if you speak to fox and their technical department you have to go through someone who's maybe a preferred supplier or a preferred installer and they'll talk you through it um, and get and get you any information that you might need but i think it just needs a simpler way in which people can really just understand the system and and it is quite an easy system to set up um, with the Wi-Fi dongle on, on board as well means that you can download the Fox app so that you can integrate and look at some of the data and everything, how the system's performing, whether it's using on-grid, battery, off-grid and all sorts of bits and pieces on there so you can really gauge you know, how well the system's being used and again as I said earlier it just means that you can start to then maybe utilise the system a bit better you know, for your personal needs at home and, and really kind of generate what energy you might want to use from the solar PV array with washing machines, dishwashers, etc. Um, you can time those in during the day. Um, really 
kind of simple install to put in really nothing too overcomplicated to think about um, user friendly from the homeowner's point of view as an installer we've got access to the homeowners um, with their permission but to the homeowners um, installation so that we can you know monitor it see how things are working and if there's anything that needs to be tweaked or the customer's not happy about something particularly it means that we can remotely access that without having to come to site blue light for wi-fi green light means everything's good to go and obviously you get like a, a, a prohibitive um, sign here or an exclamation mark which will flash or be a solid red that will indicate if there's any situations or problems that you need to attend to on the installation but aside from that pretty good pleased with the with the uh, level of um, quality of this system itself and the customers happy so that's the most important thing okay so there you have it 3.2 kilowatt peak system Canadian solar um, solar PV panels used on this install it's a great little install perfect and exactly what the client needed no no obstructions in the way no shading to to worry about or consider no trees or chimneys that are going to affect how these panels will produce and we are facing in the south uh, direction which you know is a win-win for everyone thanks for watching we are going to obviously be looking at many other systems along the way some simple some complicated different manufacturers and products that are available as well and we'll kind of get a gauge as to which ones are going to be more suitable for each property and how they perform and the expectation what you can use and how user friendly that is if you like if you enjoyed this video please like please share comment and obviously subscribe to the channel and uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next one